I'm Alpha BG and I'm a professional artist. Today we are going to be uh, learning how to create and import custom brushes in Clip Studio Paint. And once we have them, we are going to learn how to create interesting shapes with them or how to generate uh, concept art ideas. So let's go and start with the tutorial. Okay, let's start by making our own brush. If you want to create your own brush, you need to create first an image. This image will be the tip of the brush. Once we have a texture or a drawing done, we select it with the selection tool. Then we go to menu, then edit, then register material, and then we select image as you can see. Then we go and select image, a menu will pop up, and here we'll name the material we are creating so we can distinguish it. After this, we pick the option use for brush tip shape, and then we choose the folder where we want to save it. To finish, we'll select a tag so we can find it later easier. Okay, this has been the first step. We have created and registered the material. Now, in the subtool panel, we click this icon that is going to duplicate this brush I have over here. A menu will pop up and there we'll choose a name for the new brush. As you can see, it's already in the list with the other brushes. So now here in the tool property panel, we click this icon so we can see the brush settings. Within the menu, we have this option called brush tip and we can see that in tip shape, we have two options, circle or material. We select material and here by clicking this icon, we can assign a material to the tip of our new brand brush. In this new menu, we write the tag we selected previously for the material we created before to find it quicker. Here is our material. We click OK and we assign it to the tip of our brush. Now we have everything, we can adjust all the settings of the menu like the thickness, the angle, the brush density and so on. We can assign watercolor edge, a sprite effect in which we can edit the behavior of the particles. Basically we can do here whatever we want. We have endless combinations so we can create whichever pencil we can imagine. Having said that, and as you'll probably know so far, Clip Studio have a really big community and you can not only create your own brushes, but also share them with other users. And of course, download those created by the community. It's very easy, so I'm going to show you very quick. We go to the Clip Studio main menu and we click on the Clip Studio assets. Then we can write, for example, brush on the searching bar and we are going to find tons of incredible and amazing brushes made by other artists like you. If you want to use the new brush, you just download it, you just have to go to materials and then download it and then drag it on top of your brushes and that's it, you can use it now. There's a lot of brushes that create such an interesting and strange shapes that you can edit or use to create very quick designs for concept art. You can modify all your brushes also in the brush menu, but if you want something more specific, you can go to this little tool key called show sub tool detail you're going to be able to modify your brush in very different ways. So they generate interesting patterns that you can use to create silhouettes for character design or whatever you want to explore. Okay, so let's explore a little with this brush that generates a very interesting patterns. It's meant to be grass, but we can think out of the box and imagine, for example, that it's fur. They look kind of a caterpillar shapes for me. What do you see here, guys? But let's go with the fur idea. I'm going to try to create an animal here. The shape was very interesting and I just saw some kind of bull animal. I don't know, maybe more like a bison. Remember that you can select the strokes and modify them with the transform tool, for example, so the shape fits more with the idea you have in mind. I'm going to do a couple more so we can explore a little bit this kind of silhouettes. Okay, that's it. I really hope you have found this tutorial helpful and go ahead and try to develop your own brushes with Clip Studio Paint. It's really easy, it's really useful and by that you can improve your concept art skills. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be back soon with more tutorials. Bye bye.